Oh, well, good morning, Levi. What's happening, buddy? Is it time for work? Was it time to work? Yeah, all right. All right. I hear you. I hear you, good boy. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Levi says let's get to work, so that's what we're going to do. Today's video is going to be a fast-paced episode. We are going back and rechecking four past cases to see how they're doing. Now, I know a lot of you, rechecks are not your favorite thing, but they're important. So we're gonna do it in this video. The first one, this is from a cow. We did a video on about three, four weeks ago where I had to remove this entire heel section. You can see here, had some dermatitis up toward the top over on the right side along the white line there. That was the initial lesion site. Now today, a little over three weeks since that first trim, or that's when I shot this footage, you can see that lesion site's all healed in, and this heel was getting nice and firmed up. So let's get it cleaned up a little bit, see what it looks like. Now with white line defects, it's typically one area of corium disturbance. You get that to heal up, and the rest of the heel will heal up as well. In this case, we did have some digital dermatitis, but as you can see, we get that all cleaned up as well. The sole is not quite thick enough yet to bear weight. It's only been three weeks and typically you need about four weeks time to get that sole to a quarter inch thickness, which is thick enough to bear weight. So we'll leave that block on. Next time we'll pull that off. Next up, we're heading to one of my organic farms and we had a cow in that video titled, this is not a cow's mud flap. This lateral claw had some heel separation. You can see right down in there. So. With a little work, we removed all of that. And this was the area of disturbance on that particular cow. Now we're back. It's been about a month, month and a half since my last visit here. So let's get this cleaned up and see how this one has healed. I will put the links to this video and all the other videos in the description below. So check that out. You hear those calves fussing in the background? Yes, I've screwed up their normal breakfast plans, but if they're a little patient, they're gonna get fed soon enough. You can see this heel is healed up beautifully as well. That block had come off on its own, but that's okay. This sole is plenty thick, so this foot is done. Once again, success. Why are you being so loud? Are you hungry? Is it time for breakfast? Yeah. Soon enough. Soon enough, buddy. Now on to our third recheck from today. The original trim from this foot was just a couple weeks ago in a video titled, What You're Looking For is Under This Layer of Hoof. And in that video, we had a little white line defect. And as we open that up, reveal this significant area of corium disturbance. And by the looks of this one, I knew I wanted to get a good recheck on this. This one was gonna take a couple trims. And sure enough, after two weeks, you can see there's still a small area of exposed corium. So let's get this trimmed up a little bit, see what we gotta do. Now, the reason that I knew that this was gonna take some time is by the looks of that corium. Now, in order for that corium to produce hoof horn, it needs to be healthy, and that was not healthy. So, first step, we have to get that corium back in good shape, and then it can start to do what it does, which is produce this hoof horn, and you can see it's come a long ways. That area has shrunk considerably. That corium looks much better now than it did then, but there's still a little bit of an area that looks like there might be some digital dermatitis present, so this one is going to need one more treatment with that salicylic acid, but I'm pretty confident this is going to do it. It actually looked better than I thought it would based on that original trim. Get this foot down, and we're going to move on to our last case, and this one was from four months ago. Entitled, this video was titled, I Did Something I Don't Like to Do. If you remember that video, I had a white line defect right toward the tip of the toe, and I had to remove a significant portion of that outside wall. I don't like to do that. That outside wall is what transfers the weight from the cow to the ground, basically, into that sole. But I had to remove a lot of that to take the pressure off of that white line to get that to heal. And the results, well, as you can see here, this is four and a half months later, and there's barely any sign of that whatsoever. 
Let's get this little trim up and see how it looks inside. Now I know what you're thinking. Four and a half months, why didn't you check this foot sooner? Well, a lot of times on the smaller farms, we don't get to come back and recheck those feet because we are only there every so often to trim feet. We'll do it on a, on a set schedule every few months. We'll trim some dry off cows and things like that as part of the schedule. And then we can recheck these cows. Now, had she been uh, needed another retrim, had this not resolved itself, I would have gotten the call because she would have still been lame. But as you can see here, this foot's healed up pretty well. Just a small black mark left in that from that huge hole we had to make. Let's get this cleaned up a little bit and make sure it doesn't go any deeper. And thankfully, this one has resolved itself as well. That black mark ended up going nowhere. The only thing left to do now is to get this cow back to her pen and go check on that calf to see if he is now content. Ah, what a little milk and sunshine can do. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.